The Story of Jesus. This is the story of Jesus, who was born in a stable, and even as a boy in Nazareth, showed fine qualities of a leader to follow. A man whose life has been a source of love, inspiration, and spiritual hope for all who believe in him. The Nativity. The beloved story of the birth of Jesus in a stable in Bethlehem, the wonderful child who came to earth to bring joy and peace to all people everywhere. One day, Roman soldiers came to the town of Nazareth, and one of them began to read in a loud voice from a scroll. By command of Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome, all the world shall be counted, listed, and taxed. Men listened in anger, for in their hearts they hated their Roman conquerors and felt it would be impossible to pay more taxes. Every man and woman, the soldier read, shall return to the home of his forefathers for the census which the emperor commands to be taken. When the reading was finished, the soldiers rode on to deliver their orders in the next town. Among those who heard the news were Joseph and Mary. Joseph was concerned because his forefathers had come from Bethlehem. And this would mean that he and his wife Mary would have to travel almost 70 miles to be counted and taxed. In a few days, they were on their way. It was a long and tiring journey. And they would often stop on the road at the watering place to be refreshed. Joseph did everything he knew to make Mary more comfortable on the trip because she was going to have a baby. But Mary was cheerful and did her best to keep Joseph from worrying. Nevertheless, Joseph did worry and he would often stop to find a place for Mary to rest. Sometimes he could find shelter among the rocks. But at night they put their mats on the ground and slept under the stars. As they traveled, they met others going to Bethlehem. And before long, a caravan was formed. All these people were going to the cities of their forefathers, just as Mary and Joseph. The children would often run ahead to play in the caves and rocks along the way. On they trudged across the southern border of Samaria and into the province of Judea. Now they had only a short distance to go. It had been a long journey. Mary was quiet and very tired. It was night when the travelers caught their first sight of Bethlehem, nestled in the hills of Palestine. They could see the lights in the houses and hear the noises in the distance of the crowds who had already arrived. Inside the city, many people who had arrived earlier in the day had crowded into every available room. Merchants, Roman soldiers, the little town had never been so full of people. When Mary and Joseph arrived, they went at once to the inn, where they sought out the innkeeper, who only shook his head and said again and again, There's no room for you at the inn. There's simply no room. But Joseph pleaded with the innkeeper, My wife is going to have a baby, and and it is time for the child to be born. Won't you help us? We must have a place to stay. 
As he listened to Joseph, the innkeeper realized that he could not turn them away. Although all my rooms are taken, he said, there is a stable down back of the inn. If you can use it, you're welcome. It's all I have. Here, take my lantern to find the way. Mary and Joseph were glad to hear his words and went on to the stable as the innkeeper had directed. It was not a comfortable place, to be sure, but there was clean straw on the ground and they both realized that this would have to do. During the night, there were shepherds out in the fields guarding their sheep. They built a fire to keep themselves warm from the cold night air. And as they watched over their flocks, they talked of many things. All of a sudden, there was a brilliant light surrounding them. They were stunned by the brightness in the sky. They trembled with fear. As they stood there watching in wonder, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, saying, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day, in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. The shepherds could hardly believe their eyes and ears when suddenly they saw with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The shepherds left their flocks and went quickly toward Bethlehem which was known as the city of David. There they would search out the child that the angel had told them about. After looking about in Bethlehem, the shepherds finally found the stable where Mary and Joseph were. When they saw the baby, they realized that they were in the presence of the child which the angels had made known to them. As the shepherds watched, some standing, some kneeling, Mary was pleased that they had come to see the child. She felt very close to them as they worshipped the newborn baby in humble adoration. Looking down into the face of her adorable infant, Mary was beginning to realize the tremendous importance of this marvelous night and wondered how the shepherds could know so quickly about the birth of her son. Then the shepherds began to tell her all the things which they had heard the angel say about the child. And now they knew that truly this child was the sign they had been looking for. This was indeed the Savior, Christ the Lord. Mary smiled as she held her infant son close to her heart. Her thoughts went back over the months, and Mary remembered that an angel had also spoken to her and said that this child which was born to her would be the Son of God, and that his name shall be called Jesus. Jesus.